Well, the hit CBS crime drama Blue Bloods follows three generations of a tight-knit family of New York City law enforcement officers. And Donnie Wahlberg co-stars as Detective Danny Regan in tonight's episode. He tries to take down a Russian mob boss. He's going to let you take that for that one, too. When all you really probably only did was just hold the guy down. While Grushenko took a blow towards to him and stuck a knife right in the side of his head and jammed it in and about. jammed it in and no, he jammed it in right I, through his I, skull I, and into his brain. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. But you're not going to give up Grushenko, are you? No. Because you're like a son to him. Donnie Wahlberg, good morning. You're good morning. one tough cookie in this show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My mother's probably <laughs> laughing that you said that right now. <laughs> how, do you, how do you keep it light, though? Because I, know, I mean, you're obviously very serious in the show, and Danny is a real intense character, but you got a much softer side, right? Well, you know, I'm working in New York, so first and foremost, I can't walk around the set trying to be a tough guy because all the crew guys will give me, you know, they'll, they'll knock it off, Wahlberg. You know, they, they're not going for that stuff. They but i got to keep it light. It, it is pretty intense on set some days. Have the crew guys received you, and have the people of New York received you well? I mean, you're a full-blooded Boston guy. They, they've received me incredibly well. I mean, we're out in the streets shooting. I mean, people are very supportive and uh, amazingly supportive, especially for Boston guy. When the Patriots and Jets were playing, it got a little ugly, but generally speaking, um, everybody's been great, and I'm really proud to be working in New York. I mean, yeah. especially representing the New York Police Department. They really are. I mean, having played in Times Square on New Year's Eve with new kids and Backstreet Boys. I mean, to see, you know, this city is the single, probably the center of the earth at any given moment. You know, if anybody wants to target anywhere on the earth, they target New York City. When you see who the New York Police Department are and the firefighters too, I mean, they're just, they're people who grew up in the neighborhood and yeah. they're protecting the center of the earth, you know, and it's, it's they're pretty amazing. Don't call them the finest for nothing, right? Absolutely. Well, let's talk about uh, NKOTB BSB. <laughs> Yeah. New kids on the block and Backstreet Boys, you guys are uh, getting together and you got a, a press conference up in Boston today yeah. and you're launching this tour. This is, uh, give me a little yeah. background. Well, the tour, the tour has actually been, been launched, but we're announcing, uh, I'm not supposed to tell yet, but Good. since I'm here, I what might as well. We're going to play Fenway Park, which is, you know, for a Bostonian is really, you know, it's, it's it. the ultimate. And uh, we're going to announce that show today and I'm um, heading up now. I'm supposed to try to beat the snow, but I saw the uh, the snowflakes coming, so it's going to be a mad we'll, dash. We'll get you ahead of that. We'll have Marty's whole charter course for yeah. you. How, I mean, the response. I know originally it was 24 dates, and then I guess Live Nation said through overwhelming response for tickets, you had to extend it to 41 it's dates. It's been incredible, yeah. I mean, it Did was, you think at this stage? I mean, wow. Well, you know, we, we've been surprised. I mean, with, with with Blue Bloods, you know, I'm humbled all the time by by any success. You know, I think, um, you know, the, the new kid's success at an early age was very humbling, and, and my my father told me many years ago, you know, kid, if you ever make it big and you ever change, you come home here, you're going to have a problem with me. And, yeah. um, and I, I think my brother Mark and I specifically have really held on to that. You know, we grew up with really not a lot. And I think uh, we worked very hard to because we're afraid somebody's going to come in and take it all <laughs> yeah. away from us. You guys, one day, you guys know? have made it pretty big. <laughs> yeah. Can I ask you about your brother Mark? Yesterday, the uh, Oscar nominations, you got a, a producer nomination, but what did you think about being snubbed in the best actor? Well, department? you know, uh, Go ahead. If, you know, it would have been nice if he got nominated. It yeah. would have been nice. Um, but, you know, he got one last year or the year before for The Departed. So uh, he's, yes, I think Holly would say, spread out, kid. He can't give you too much too quick. <laughs> but uh, he, he did a great job in the movie and, yeah. and we're, we're all proud of him. And, uh, you know, and Christian Bale got one, and, and Amy Adams, and, and Melissa Leo, and I mean, it was a great movie. Movie so, is great. Yeah. Movie is great. Right, thanks so much. Great to see you. Thank Continued you. Continued success.